Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacelyn and I may have to adjust this lighting. I wanted it to be like fall and cozy with a candle, but the lighting looks super rough. I might have to blow out my cute cozy candle. Here we go. Now the lighting just got so much better. Let me not breathe in all these chemicals. I'm sorry. We can still make this video cute. Here we go. Welcome to this week's video. I thought that I would go ahead and kick off this series that I am really, really excited to do on my channel. It is the peak of fall. And I have went ahead and transitioned so like no i did not decorate for fall just yet hint i've just transitioned slowly so there are no pumpkins out yet there are no fall leaves or actual fall decorations or signs or anything like that out yet but i have brought out just little subtle touches um knitted blankets candles artwork and different things that helping transition from the coastal beachy summer vibes I had in here to cozy warm rich fall tones. I am slowly getting into fall decorating mode. So to start off this series I'm going to be sharing with you guys my inspiration like kind of like where i like to shop what i have my eyes on for all of the new collections and stuff that's come out for 2022 although i do like to pick up pieces from tj maxx and home goods and marshall's i'm not really going to share things that i can't link i'm sharing with you things from the hearth and hand studio mcgee collections and a few things from amazon and hobby lobby because those things i can't link for you the first thing that i've got my eye on is this 16 by 12 faux olive leaf potted plant by hearth and hand it is an all year round piece but i love the warm wood pot that it is in and the olive tree is just beautiful and i feel like i could put that anywhere in my house in the kitchen on shelves in my bedroom I just I think that that is a piece worth sharing in this video and so I just I love it and so I just wanted to include that next the medium octagonal octagonal amber glass bottle vase by hearth and hand okay um hello this was one from I don't even remember what year it was I think it was 2020 this was a part of their fall collection and I love it. And they came out with this new cool shape and there's different sizes. I'm probably, I don't know, I'm, I love all of them, but if I had to pick one, I'll probably go. I like the shape of the medium one, but I'm trying to work on getting larger vases. So I'll probably go with the tall one. If I, you know, if I come across it in the store, that is something I would definitely want to pick up. Next is the Staggered Metal Taper. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that anymore because it's probably not right. Brass Finish by Hearth and Hand. I think, excuse Isla in the background. I am really loving all of the warm, rich tones that fall has. And I've noticed that Hearth and Hand is pulling out different kinds of finishes like metal and brass finishes in their candles and different things like that and different just different pieces they have these beautiful 20 ounce lidded metal multi wick candles with a brass finish and i have heard people raving about how good the pompous scent is they say it's like this warm, sweet vanilla, which is what I gravitate towards when I get candles or like when I go to Bath and Body Works and get their fall candles. It's anything that, if it smells like something's baking, that is what I'm going to end up getting. I just, I love those sweet vanilla syrup 
waffle, pecan, apple, pumpkin smells for fall. The next thing I'm going to share is their floral stems. I have a hungry baby, so just bear with me. These 29 inch faux Queen Anne's lace flower stems are so beautiful. They are like a pinky rust kind of like i don't know i see pink i see rust i see peach i see purple i see deep reds i feel and like and brown and i feel like i don't know what that's probably why they didn't label what color this is because it is just there's so many different tones in these flowers but i just think that they are beautiful as well as the 20 by 20 faux rusted eucalyptus ceramic pot arrangement. I feel like this one is a must pick up. I love, love, love this rust color. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I have the six foot garland of the rusted eucalyptus gar uh, fall garland that they came out with. The reason I say I'm pretty sure is because this is their 2022, but it looks a lot like the one they had in 2020. So I'm going to say I do have this because it looks identical and it is one of my favorite pieces that I've got over the past few years for fall. The rust color is just so rich and so beautiful and I love moody colors this time of year. They also have this beautiful 9x4 faux achillea. I'm not very good at pronunciation but these amber glass bottle arrangements are so so pretty. It's like those floral stems that I showed you along with some other colors. One of their amber glass bottles and it is just so pretty and those are perfect for fall. And I feel like they kind of could be used for spring, but you know, do you. Next, I'm going to share with you some throw blankets. I love the chunky cable knit tassel throw blanket. Could be used for all year round, but the anything that is knit, that is cable knit or sweater knit, I adore. I love using. Bring you guys just a little just a little bit closer. I feel like I'm so far away. But I just, I love, I love the color. It's pretty neutral, so that's why I say you could use it year round. But, you know, you might want to use lighter textures when it is hot outside. Also, I'm in love with the Studio McGee Woven Stripe Knit Throw Blanket. Okay, so it comes in like four different colors, but I love every single color it comes in. So this is where I become really indecisive and probably would have to look at the you know, what my couch and my bed or what, wherever I would want to put this, the colors that are already there. But the mahogany color is so beautiful. They have it in this cognac, I would say is like a burnt orangey brown color. And then cream, which is very neutral and green. And the green looks gray in this picture, but maybe it looks more green in person. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that is why they literally have it laying on a gray ottoman, probably to show that it's not gray, so you can see the color difference. But in my opinion, I feel like it kind of makes it look gray even more. They should have put it around greens. Uh, so now we're gonna skip on over to Hobby Lobby. Look, there are so many things you could find at Hobby Lobby, so many different signs and pieces of decor. These are just things that I found online that I could link. And so if I find anything in store, I'll probably do a huge haul. And so Isla, my baby girl, is trying to play with my phone. Probably do a huge haul length. I've gotten all of my fall decor. At Hobby Lobby, they have tons and tons of taper candles. And if you don't know what taper candles are, they're these skinny candles that fit in your brass or gold or black or whatever color you have, candlesticks. I've got these two black ones. They're from Crate and Barrel. Um, if you want more detail on what my whole living room um, fall transition, that will be in my next um, video that's a part of this series. You'll see me pulling out all the different things to help transition for fall. It's like decorating for fall without fall decorations, basically. Back to what I was saying about the taper candles. 
Hobby Lobby has literally every color you could possibly want. I'm loving the golden color. They have a tan taper candle. The tan is also giving off that peachy vibe. And so, especially holding it up to next to a brown or a golden, then it is a lighter neutral and it is really pretty. And then the rest candles come in a set of four. And because they are technically in the category of fall candles, they are 40% off and they are currently $4.19 instead of $6.99. So yes, I'm going to be picking up lots of different color taper candles to go in my candlestick holders. You wanna pull up? You pull up, pull up, and stand up. Hobby Lobby also is known for their beautiful floral stems and dried florals, and they have um, some really good fall foliage. I love this copper silver dollar spray, and to me, this kind of looks like eucalyptus leaves, but it's like this mustardy copper color. I feel like that mustard color is just in this season along with this dark yellow bloom branch. I just love the curly branches. It just looks so natural and beautiful. And I like the smaller foliage that is growing out of the, it's not like so big and so full. So if you like more of like a naked kind of look on your branches and stems, then that one is really really pretty now we're going to skip over to amazon just a few things to give you an idea of what i'm looking at on amazon i found these artificial eucalyptus branches they are it says they are long stems and they're the silver dollar eucalyptus leaves they come in orange which it doesn't look too orange it's not like a pumpkin orange um, it kind of still has that like burnt color to it and then they also come in red and this red is not like Christmas red it's like like more of a rust color um, both of them have good muted tones and I feel like I'm probably gonna order one of each of the bunch I think they come in bunches yeah four piece so you get four stems with what you order um, but yeah I'm probably gonna order one of each color because I could mix them together and I feel like that would be really, really pretty. And Hobby Lobby, they have got really beautiful vases. And just to show you some pumpkins, kind of what I'm looking for this season, um, they have these beautiful felt white, orange, and yellow pumpkins. The reason I'm looking for that kind of texture specifically Anything that is soft and not breakable is what I'm looking for this year because Lesson, he likes to throw things and obviously the pumpkins that I do have that are breakable, I'll have them up high. But I want to decorate like my coffee table and places like that with pumpkins. So, <laughs> are you jumping? I'm looking for felt pumpkins. I've seen some beautiful like Sherpa or like just like blanket material, like knitted and like different things like that, like pumpkins. And so those things I'm going to use in lower surfaces that my children can reach. Those um, softer textured pumpkins could be cute. Could be really cute and used as like throw pillows or like you know like an addition to your throw pillows. And I originally thought that I was just gonna order the white and I probably will just order the white um but I don't know I'm contemplating because seeing this picture of the table setting all the colors together look so beautiful and that just gives me an idea for for my table or um I don't know my mantle I'm not really sure I'm not really sure what I want to do girl you gonna stand up <laughs> are you standing up so that is all for today's video please stick around if you are new please subscribe to my channel i have 
a lot of exciting videos coming. I do vlog with my children a lot of stay at home, day in the life kind of lifestyle vlogs. But now that we are getting into the holiday season, which is so exciting, I am going to have tons and tons of videos coming out. Um, I'm challenging myself to put out two videos a week. One will be devotional videos where where I'm just sitting down and doing like a daily devotion with you and like just going into depth with scripture. So if you are like me and you're trying to understand scripture more and the Bible I know can be really overwhelming. So if you're trying to just grow and you know, sometimes you need somebody to help you break down the scripture and what different things meant and kind of interpret and today's words what this is basically saying um i try my very best to do that and so i'm going to try to put out videos like that and then after fall is over with we will jump into the christmas series and it is going to be just nothing but videos of all things fall related and when christmas comes christmas related decor is probably going to be the main category unless i do vlogmas again this year this video is kind of giving you the inspiration the next video will be like transitioning my living room and my home out of the summer stuff and kind of getting ready and preparing for fall a fall shop with me and then there's going to be lots of decorate with me's and fall activities and different things like that so it is going to be lots of fun over here on raising little fosters i know i'm a mommy channel so even though it is going to be focused on home decor and seasonal things for the next few months probably for the rest of this year there will still be vlogs every once in a while and mommy related content so i hope you guys enjoy this video and subscribe please 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 Give this video a thumbs up and stick along with me to see this vision and all these ideas that I have for my home this year and this season come to life. And I will see you guys next week. Don't miss our daily devotion videos because it's important. And now I'm being mommy to you guys. I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next video. Mwah!